What's the matter, Evan? You look sad. I... I lost someone special. Someone I thought would always be there. Oh, that is sad. But for every ending, there's a new beginning, you know. Really? Of course. You lost someone special, but you also met someone new, didn't you? And you'll be making lots more new friends very soon. <laughs> who knows? You may even meet someone who really will be there forever. Which isn't to say things will be easy. Life is never that simple. The beginnings and endings, the hellos and goodbyes, every step on the journey comes with its own challenges and rewards. I suppose. <laughs> Listen to me talking like a wise old man. Sorry, these aren't my words. They're someone else's. Someone very special. Who? Um, I have to go now, but I'll come and visit you again soon, all right? Bye. Wait. You seem pleased. I am. It all happened just as you said it would. I met lots of new people and made lots of new friends. Perhaps I really can keep my promise to Nella. <laughs> so you really are going to rule the world then? You don't do things by halves, do you? But building a kingdom is hard work, and building a great kingdom is even harder. It's not going to be easy. I, I know that. But I'm going to try. I have to. Spoken like a true leader. You'll be meeting a lot more people soon, Evan. You have to listen to them, all of them. And you have to remember that it will make you a better king. I'll try my best. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking as if I know everything again. But I'm right, I think. I trust the person who taught me all of this more than anyone else in the world, and so should you. Until next time, Evan. Goodbye. But... Oh. For someone with a brand new kingdom, you don't look very happy. Uh, I am happy, but I'm worried. There's still so much we don't know. And now there's a force bent on destroying our whole world. How can I ever hope to overcome something like that? You can't, on your own. But you're not on your own, are you? No, not anymore. I have friends beside me. The best friends I could ever hope for. That's right. So turn to them when you need to, and take it one step at a time. You'll get there in the end. I suppose so. I can only do my best after all. <laughs> exactly. And your best is only going to get better. I'll see you again soon, Evan. Yes. See you soon. The Declaration of Interdependence, eh? Very impressive. Yes. I have Roland to thank for that. And Bodley, of course. Don't forget your own role in all this. Pugnacious signed the agreement because of you because he trusts you. I suppose so. By the way, are there any girls you like? What? Where did that come from? Oh, I was just interested. I like everyone, all of my subjects. 
Hmm. Well, it's good to have someone you can trust. That's all. Someone you can be completely honest with, no matter what. Just <laughs> something to bear in mind. See you soon. Oh, uh, goodbye. So Lofty finally showed his true power. Yes, it was such a surprise. You never would have guessed from looking at him. And everything seems to be settling down in Broadleaf too. It does, yes. President Vector is back to his old self. I'm sure he'll put his people first from now on. And his friends will learn to trust him again soon enough. The bond between them is too strong for them to hold a grudge. I only hope that I can forge such firm friendships. I've a It takes all kinds of kings to make a world. I think you should just keep doing what you're doing. Perhaps you're right. Hey, Evan. Have you ever thought about what you'd do if someone really close to you betrayed you? What? Oh, I was just wondering. Forget I asked. The declaration's finished, Evan. You did it. And we made peace with Mausinger too, which is something. But his king's bond was stolen, and Dolorin really does mean to resurrect the Horned One. So what if he does? You'll be ready to face him. You'll overcome this trial, just like all the others. After all, if you can as good as unite the whole world, you can do anything. You're right. But it's not over yet. And this last part isn't going to be easy. Who are you? I think you know. You're King Ferdinand, aren't you? You've been helping me all along. Yes. And no. I am Ferdinand. But it's really you who's been helping me. What? Everything I've told you, you told me first. I don't understand. This is going to sound strange, but... I can send my mind through time. It's a gift I've had since I was born. And using it to visit you seemed like the obvious thing to do. I mean, who wouldn't want to find out what his famous father was like as a child? Father? Yes, you are my father, and I am your son. What? I promised that I would live up to your legendary achievements, but before I could do that, I had to see them for myself. The things I said to you, those words of wisdom, they were all yours. But Ferdinand lived long ago. He... <laughs> I'm afraid that was just Bodley's little joke. She's no historian, you see. She's a seer. She didn't tell you what had happened. She told you what was going to happen. About how I would become the first king to unite the whole world. So, you did? I mean, you will? Yes, you started it all by uniting the five great realms. But there were plenty of others. Smaller, perhaps, but realms just the same. Each with its own particular problems. Poverty, war, and any number of other things. None of them easy to solve. But solve them you did. One by one by one. And you... Yes, I, I carried on what you started, and in the end, I finished it.
I come before you, a true king at last. I, Ferdinand, have brought together the peoples of every nation under the heavens. The great work my beloved father began is finally complete, and the world stands united under a single banner. I hereby swear, in the name of King Evan, to safeguard this hard-won peace, for as long as I shall live! that my promise to Nella was fulfilled at long, long last. <laughs>